All right. Good morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, June 14th, 2022. Uh, and remember, uh, you if you want to chat with me, good morning, David. If you want to chat with me, it has to be in the YouTube or Twitch chats. Discord is not really working right now. Uh, the restream people are working on it. Uh, so hopefully it'll be to fix soon. But right now, if you talk on Discord, I will not be able to see you. Other and 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 the other pe and the other chats won't either. So it's not just me. So, uh, so if you want to have everyone see you, please talk on YouTube or Twitch. Now this week, good morning Fernando, good morning David. This week we are gonna play some of my. We're gonna play my favorite World War II flight sim. 1942 Pacific, the Pacific Air War. I, I keep forgetting to say the, but it's 1942, the Pacific Air War. I love the, I played this for years back in the nineties. I play, I played this regularly basically until European air war came out. Um, and I like this more. I love European air war, but I like this more. Um, so yeah. So I wanted to start here cause we got to watch the, uh, a Pacific Air War. Yeah. One of the Pacific Air Wars. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I wanted us to watch the intro because these 90s intros are great. You know, these 90s intros are great. I'm running the, you can actually buy this one. A lot of the games I've played, you can't go out and buy on a digital storefront. But this you could buy on GOG and Steam. And I'm running the uh, the GOG version, slightly modified, uh, to use my MIDI units, and run on a window. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is the GOG version, which is great. So let's start, and we'll watch. Oh God, damn it! Hang on. Okay, we'll start, and we'll watch the intro with the full MIDI experience, and then we'll get into it. That's the MT-32 making that sound. Keeps going for a little bit. Oh, don't do this to me, game. Okay, hang on. I believe Air Power was also 94. There we go. So yeah, if you start the game and the joystick isn't centered, it goes all it goes all crazy. So you gotta recalibrate. Okay. 
All right. So the beauty of this game is how you can play it, and there's there are multiple ways to play it, and there's a you can play this for years and not get bored. I'm not even kidding you. So there are three ways to play this game. Uh, well, I'm not using uh, hello, is it Imarin or Limarin? It looks like an I. Uh, I don't recognize your name, so welcome if you've not played this before. Uh, I'm using actual MIDI units for this. It's not sound blast. Okay, Imran. Uh It's a sound blaster. It's not sound blaster. I'm using uh, actual Roland MIDI units. And so I've got two MIDI units going. So this is what it sounds like with one of them. This is what it sounds like with just the uh, SC-52 sound canvas. Now I just turned the MT-32 back up and I can't really hear it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm using actual Roland units for this. So there are three different ways to play this game. There are single missions, of which you will see in a moment. There are a truckload of single missions. There are pilot career modes, which are more the traditional pilot-focused campaign. You know? Uh, and then there's the, 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 whole, the whole reason, this is one of the big reasons, the primary reason, really, that this is probably my favorite World War II flight sim ever, is the carrier battle, where you have a strategy game like, they took basically the best parts of Task Force 1942 and put it in this. But you can not only direct the carrier battles, you can jump into any flight at any time and, and do the fighting. So, there are multiple ways to play this game, and they're all great. So today, I figured... What's going on with you? Weird. There it goes. Um, so, hang on. So today, so today, we're going to do single missions. Tomorrow, we'll do the pilot career, and then, uh, and then Thursday, we'll do a carrier battle. So we're going to ramp it up. Yeah, I turned the MT thirty two back up, but it's like it's. Barely hear it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, well, like I was saying earlier, Imran, you can actually buy this on Steam or GOG. Uh, I'm running the GOG version right now. So we're going to do single missions, and again, let me tell you, like I said, there's a billion of them. You can play missions for the American Navy, the Army Air Corps, the Japanese Navy, and we're going to play some of each of these. But like, not only, look, at look. this is just the fighter suite missions. This is just the fight. You also have uh, combat air patrol missions, bomber escort missions, ship bombing missions, base bombing missions, and torpedo missions. And again, look at all these. Look at all these. And this is just for the the American Navy. This is just for the American Navy. So there are a billion missions in here. Like here's the Japanese Navy. It's a here's the fighter suite missions. Here's the cap missions. Like million there's so many missions in here, you guys. That's what I'm saying. You can play this game for years. And not really get bored. Uh, plus, again, there's a mission builder, so you can make your own missions. There's so, so much content here. Like, I think the only game that really rivals this kind of content is probably Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe, which, if you recall, also had truckloads of content. Just truckloads. And this is, this is a similar situation where you have single missions, a pilot-focused career, but also the strategic... Uh, strategic portion of the game as well. Uh, sure, I've never really used it, but let's take a look. Uh, new American mission? 
Okay, sure. Yeah, sure we'll, do, we'll do that, I guess. Fighter sweep. Oh! Select primary target. Oh, primary flight. Okay, so that's what we got there. Select home base. Okay. Select mission target. Okay, you can edit flights. Yeah, you're absolutely right, David. Yeah, games need to have longevity because you bought fewer of them back in the day. Well, maybe you bought fewer of them back in the day. I bought anything I can get my freaking hands on. But, um, edit flights. Create new flight. Okay, what do we got? Okay, so. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow. So I can create a flight. You can edit the date, you can edit, wow. Whoa. Wow. You can just make all kinds of stuff, can't you? Look at that. I wonder if anyone has, like, missions for this game online. You know, I wonder if someone's making missions. Alright. So we're gonna start with single missions, and please remember, I haven't played this in a while, so I'm very rusty. I'm also, even though I love Flight Sims, I'm not good at them. So please don't expect expert play at all. I'm just here to have a good time, and, and I'm just here to have fun and entertain you and share some nostalgia with you guys. Uh, I'm not here for any kind of guide or expert play or anything, but but I am a am a wanted to show you. He he he. Hello, hello box, hello box. Mm. Hello box, I love you so much. I love you so much, box. Mm, yes, box, my favorite. Okay. <laughs> now, the sad thing is... I just want to say the sad thing is... Um, night hey, John, good morning. Uh, with 1942 Gold, you not only got the game and its one expansion pack, um, but it also included... Um, it also included like multimedia stuff that like you would run in, under Windows 3.1, I think. Uh, but it had like all, it had like almost like a war documentary that you could watch um, uh, in in the in the thing. But th that does not run in modern Windows really at all. So it's kind of a shame. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the uh, the multimedia stuff needs Windows 3.1, I think. I'm not 100% on that, though. Wow, it recommended a 486 with 8 megabytes of RAM, you guys. I just love looking at... I just love looking at these old uh, system requirements. Required. It requires 4 megabytes of RAM. Oh yeah, it requires Windows 3.1. There it is. SVGA. A double speed CD-ROM, you guys. 
Not some of that shit single speed. Remember that? Remember that? Uh, ooh, MC... Oh, wow. When they specify the MC... The MSC DEX version. When they specify that, you know you're in, you know you're in the weeds. You, you know you're in the weeds when they specify the MSC DEX version. <laughs> wow. All right. Enough of that. I know. None of that. None of that single speed garbage. All right. So we're gonna start simple. We're gonna start with some training missions and work into some real missions. So we'll do, uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll do some training. Oh, look, my test mission is there. Well, that's nice. That's really cool. All right, we'll do uh, some, we'll do, we'll do a training mission. Set weather. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, Donovan. All right. All right, so training mission, difficulty zero. You could, I love how you can turn all these things on and off. What? <laughs> That's funny, Ritu. Wow, what is with the sound effects? Wow, it's not engaging the NT32 at all anymore. Okay, this is a weird set. These are weird sound effects. Okay, so now we're in. Uh, what is with the sound effects? Sounds like a bunch of people. Sounds like rain. Okay. Um, so hang on. So. Yeah, right? Um, so check this out, guys. This blew my mind back in the day. You have a full virtual cockpit. Look at this. Look at this. 1994. This blew my mind back in the day. Absolutely blew my mind. That... Like, you could totally look around everything. Look at that. That is, that is astounding. Right? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Did this come out before TFX? I think it did. I'm not sure. Yeah, and the gauges work even when you're in virtual in the virtual cockpit. So the gauges do work when you're in the virtual cockpit. And it actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, it actually looks pretty decent. Like, it, there's a little tearing when you move fast, as you can see. But that's, you know, 1994. This was, for, for me, this was mind-blowing in 1994. Absolutely mind-blowing in 1994. Um, hang on a second. This is ridiculous. Mission completed. I didn't do anything. Yeah. We're going to restart the thing because for some reason when I turned the volume down on the MT-32, it was like not, it was, it's like not working anymore. So it sounds really strange. Uh, so we're going to start it again. Hang on. Or maybe we should go to... Okay, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so test, uh, setup sound. Okay, fine. Uh, hang on. Right? 
Right. Okay, so. So it should be. Okay. Sure. So yeah, this is how. I challenge you to break my defenses. We shall meet over the front. Okay, that works. Okay, that works. Okay. Wonder what was going on there. All right, let's try that again. It is not supposed to. It was not supposed to sound like that. All right. Okay, here we go. Try that again. Yeah, I know. I know there was an MT32 option. We may try that. We may try that next. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to mostly sound. Okay, single mission. American Navy. We'll do a... Uh, I love how, like, we're going to give you the whole map and make you scroll over to read everything. Like, we're not even going to try and fit everything into the same screen because immersion... <laughs> All right, for some reason, now for some reason, I don't know why, this game's always started you looking down at your instruments like this. And you had to hit. All right, that sounds. Yeah, that's how it's, that, that sounds how it's supposed to sound. Still a little weird. a little weird. Oh, boy. All right, so... Let's hit the autopilot. I'm, I'm going to show you guys something great. Um, max time rate. Bandit, 11 o'clock level. All right, so they just said bandit, 11 o'clock level. Now, you'll notice I didn't disengage the autopilot. That's because... This game is as much fun to watch as it is to play because the autopilot can also fight in this game. So if you leave the autopilot on like this, it'll do all the fighting. Again, making this game accessible. For if you're a strategy if you're a strategy gamer but you want to watch the fights, you can do that. You know, because the autopilot will fight for you. <laughs> Auto. <laughs> so, I honestly think that's pretty cool. And can I go into virtual cockpit mode like this with the autopilot still on? Oh, I sure can. Where? Where's our little bandit friend? So yeah, if you're a pure strategy gamer, but still wanted to watch the um, the flights, let's see if there's an external view. I think there is. External chase. Ooh, can I move around? Ooh. Look at that, you guys. Where's our bandit? I know, right? Like, for 1994, it is a very good-looking game. I think it still looks good today, honestly. For 19... Yeah. When I first played this in 1994, this blew my mind. Like, hardly anything looked like this in 1994. You know? Hardly anything looked this good in 1994. Oh, there they are. There's the bandit. Let's watch the autopilot shoot it. 
You know, I've never seen the Black Sheep Show. I know of it, but I've never actually seen it. See? As fun to watch as it is to play. Okay. So, when did TFX come out? Oh, TFX came out the year before this. And that was also... We're going to get to that one later. But TFX is also a gorgeous sim. If I recall, though, I think I played this one first. Yeah, TFX is also a gorgeous game. So, even if you're not a pilot, but you just want to do the strategy gaming part, and you want to watch the the, the, the air battle, you can totally do that. How great is this? This autopilot's probably doing a better job than I would, I'll tell you that much right now. Ooh, detail levels? Huh, I'm not going to fuck with that. Anyway. So yeah, how cool is that? All right, I don't know where the I don't know where the guy is. Hang on. Where's, where's the guy? Where where's the guy even? Oh, so you're the only play in the air. So who's calling out that bandit? Where's the guy? Oh, he's higher than we are. I see. Oh, look at the smoke. Looks like you got him. And then... And then he will land for you, the autopilot will land for you, and everything. How great's that? How great is that? All right, we'll try some more. Uh... Hang on. I want to see if Black Sheep is playing anywhere. Yeah, perfect landing. Not done by me. Uh, no, we want the. Wow, it might not be streaming anywhere. Wow, that's crazy. I would have thought Black Sheep would be streaming somewhere. But apparently not. Wow, I'm, I'm actually shocked by that. Yeah, I'm actually really shocked by that. Wow. 
yeah, I am really surprised by that. Yeah, wow. I'm really surprised that apparently Black Sheep is not streaming anywhere. Wow. Okay. All right. Anyway. Because I wanted to at least maybe check out an episode, but it's not streaming anywhere. Right, Ferd? I love how this game, this game is as much fun to watch as it is to play. That's one of the joys of it. And so it's really, I think, still one of the best World War II flight sims because of that reason. Yeah, zero points. I know. I was on training mode. I know. I don't care. Um, nah, I don't care. All right. So let's do uh, Lexington. What, what is this one? Lexington's Wildcats. All right. Proceed, delay, and engage any and all enemy air units. Straight fitted ground installations. All right. I think you're right, but I don't have I don't have the History Channel anymore. I don't have the History Channel anymore. I do remember it was called. Was it called Baba Black Sheep? Is that what it was called? Yeah, that's it. Baba Black Sheep. Maybe that's why I couldn't find it. Hang on. Though you'd think it would show up. There it is. Oh, wow. Oh, so it isn't available. Wait. No, that's a, that's a, that's a wrong thing. Wow. So I use this I use this app called um Just Watch to um to see where things are streaming and it has usually usually it has everything. But it doesn't have this one show. That's really weird. That's really freaking weird. Yeah. So apparently that Black Sheep show is not streaming anywhere. I don't get it. Anyway, let's do this. They pull the tarp off. And look at this map. How cool is this? Now you want the auto... Oh! Oh! Look at that! So when you go into the map mode, it turns on the autopilot. How great is that? And look, it accelerates time while you're on the map, too. This game really respects... Uh, this game really respects your time. Oh. We have found enemies. We have found enemies. Let's see if I can shoot one. Let's see if I can shoot one. I don't see anybody. Where are they? Oh, look, there's my flight right there. Look at that. Right, where are the bad guys? 
<laughs> I think the ground looks so weird, but you know, you're not here to look at the ground really. Um, it's the Pacific, it's a jungle, whatever. That's really all they care about. Okay, where are the bad guys? Zero four zero. Is that like over here? Right? That's like There should be a thing that I would I would I would wish there was a thing that said that that wrote that out in text. You know, but I don't know, whatever. I don't see the bad guys. Where are they? Look at that flight all the way back there. Look at that. Zero four three. Yeah, it's like that's like over here, right? It's like over here-ish, right? I'm not seeing any though. Anyone though. Maybe the autopilot sees him. Because <laughs> I don't see him. So right about there. I don't see him. Oh, I see. So we're just being directed there. There they are. All right, now I'll take over. I see, so we were just being directed to where the bandits were. Yeah, we have a lot of bandits, apparently. Well, they did say enemy air cover would be, uh... They did say enemy air cover would be, uh, plentiful. So, um... Or heavy, I believe was their word. I got one. I feel pretty good about that. Oh, 
got one. Great. They're kind of flying in a straight line. They're making it a little too easy for me. Got another one. Everybody else around? Three, four, one. Where the hell is that? Three, four, one. It's over here. I guess that's the base they want me to strafe. Okay, where'd it go? what the autopilot wants to do. Are we flying back to the carrier? Yeah, we're flying back to the carrier now. Will it land if we're on the map mode? Oh, time to land. Autopilot is on. Where's our carrier group? You told me it's time to land, but is that them right there? I think that's them right there. My goodness, I apologize. Now, if you're wondering, Brian, I can buy this on Steam and GOG. Is it worth having the physical copies? Absolutely. It's not, I mean, you get two, you get multiple manuals for this thing. Uh, actually, I think you get a third. Ah, uh, yeah, and then you get another little manual for the scenario disc. So, yeah, and they're very good manuals because, you know, it's microprose. No maps or anything, though. That's kind of a shame. Um, that's okay, though. But, yeah, not expensive, you know. If, you, if, if, you're, really in, if you're really interested in this game, uh, it's definitely worth having the... Physical copy. All right, hang on. Can we let's speed this up? A oh wow! Did you see them kind of phase in like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Uh. Oh, okay, I guess we'll save it. Sure. All right, that was fun. Um. Free Dawn Sweep. Corsairs pay a visit to an airfield. I love how it says 1942 on it, but it goes all the way through 1944. And I don't know, David. I don't know if it's considered a hit. So let's see. Sweeps over Guam. Soften air resistance over Guam. So let's see. We just did 1942. Let's do a 1943 mission. Mundus Corsairs revisit Buka Airfield. Hellcats sweep over Rabal. Rub, rub, 
Enemy activity is expected to be heavy. He ain't heavy. He's my enemy air activity. Uh... <laughs> That was... <sighs> I apologize. That was... That was an awful joke. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. Ah, uh, God, I love this game. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Um... Oh, we got a drop tank, you guys. We got a drop tank. Um, is there a button to drop drop tanks? Crack mode, what is that? Okay, there's, there does not seem to be a drop, wait. No, there's not a button to drop drop tanks. That's crazy. You can, yeah, wow, okay. You would think that once you got into air combat, you'd drop the drop tank, but. Nope. Oh, there it is. I missed it. There is a drop tank button. Okay, that's good. That's good. I missed it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Freaking news for the natives. Uh, I can't imagine these things float. <laughs> All right. That's right, I think we have unlimited ammo. I love how they pull the tarp off. Okay, so. Um. Really? Well, that's great. And now we get to watch an Indiana Jones style airplane move across a map. Da 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 Cause I mean, I love how you, if you wanted to, you could do all this manually. You could fly this part. It would just take a lot longer, but you could do it if you wanted to. But you don't have to. I really love a game that respects your time. <laughs> I think if I'm singing it badly, I don't think they can hit me for that, David. I hope not, anyway. <laughs> Next thing I know, I got a copyright strike. For what? Oh my god! Bandits! Bandits! Where? Where? Where, where, where are the, oh, there they are, over there. climb because they're higher than me. Yeah, 
Yeah, YouTube probably will hit me for bad singing. But it's a parody, so it's fair use, right? So I'm okay. It's not like I'm trying to... It's not like I'm trying to go dead to dead to the whole soundtrack. Hello. Hello! Hello! Okay. Wait, what about what, Donovan? What is that? What? Okay, they're over there. Where are you guys? There you are. You know what I like about this game? It's very clear who's who. Enemies are gray. Just simple gray. We're blue. Very easy. Not like this Aces Over Europe crap where it's like, wow, they're, they're dark gray and we're light gray. All right, sure. Okay, I got one. Mission complete, return to base. All right. Was there fair use back then? <laughs> I don't think there was fair use back then. But I'm also surprised. Did, 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 did Nintendo get slapped for that? I really love how you can mouse over things, by the way, and get details of things. Oh, there are ground targets. There are ground targets. We just haven't done any of those yet. <laughs> there are definitely ground targets. I'll show you. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of F um, of F F14 is because there's no ground targets. Shift T. Oh my God, are you in the water, dude? What's going on? Ah! Is the autopilot still on? Oh, the autopilot wasn't on. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. You gonna land, buddy? I don't know what you're doing. Oh, mission failure. Ooh, that's not good. All right. So, yeah. Um, sure. So, yeah. See, there's bomb ship, bomb base, torpedo ship, bomb. So, yeah. So, let's bomb, let's bomb base. Let's bomb base. Um, there's actually a... Hang on. There's actually a bomb site in this game, you guys. There's actually a bomb site. Okay, hang on. Um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's do a base. Let's let's bomb a base. Is there a mission to kill Yamamoto? That's a good question. We'll have to look. Um, uh, Shaw Dog, you are incorrect, sir. 
This has way more content than Aces Over the Pacific. Because uh, you also have a full-blown carrier battle mode in this game. Uh, which Aces of, the Aces of, Aces of the Pacific, um, did not have. Yeah, but there's a bomb site here. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do this. We only got one bomb, you guys. Find a good old Dauntless. it does this has both American and Japanese forces I will show you in a moment let's do this first oh. what's going on why are you releasing the wheel brakes why are you oh because I was hitting the wrong button You can see the bomb on it too. Look at that. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I feel this game is superior to Aces Over the Pacific in pretty much every way. Um, <laughs> I might be biased because I'm a mic. I'm a hardcore Microprose fanboy. But um. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Spotted enemy base. There we go. Autopilot is off. So let's see. There's a bomb site. There's the base. Let's take a look at this bomb site. Alt F2. Whoa, guys! It's a bomb site. That's cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I like the little zoomy part. So Alt F2 is the bomb site. Check that out. That's really neat. This thing is slow, so it's going to take a second to get there. Excuse me. So how do you drop a bomb? What do you hit? What do you hit? Backspace? Oh, enter. Okay. Enter. No standardization back then. <clears throat> idea if um i don't know if you could change any well there's no mouse controls okay i believe it is a dauntless yes i love i i too love the dauntless such a such an, such an unsung hero of the war, I think, is the Dauntless. Because it flew like a truck. It was a giant target for Japanese Zeros. And yet they did so much damage to the Japanese Navy that, um... That, yeah, I really think... 
Yeah, I'm not sure how to control the uh, the bomb view here. There are yeah, there's not a thing. Is there? Yes, exactly, Donovan. Yes, exactly. Maybe not. Maybe Unsung Hero is wrong. Maybe it is recognized as the hero it is. But like, everyone thinks of the sexier Corsairs and Wildcats and everything. But the Dauntless, such an amazing plane. Built like a tank. Pretty survivable given how much was thrown at it. Um, So look at this little, I think it knows what my target is because the thing is, you see the thing coming down on the side there as I get closer, as I get closer to it, the little thing is coming down. And I'm guessing when, it, when it's in the red area, that's when I drop. Enter to drop, yes. Did I hit? Yay! Look at that! Ooh! Ooh! Put the thing on the thing! <laughs> Put the thing on the thing! Yeah, you're absolutely right, Shaw Dog. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Time to land. Autopilot is off. No, turn that shit on. I want the autopilot to land. I don't want to do it myself. I sent her to drop a truth bomb. <laughs> There's no such thing as the friend zone. Mission results, you guys. Yes, I know zero points. I don't care. <laughs> okay. The Shaw Dog, to show you what we're talking about here. Um... um the so Shaw Dog, uh, what we're talking about, what, what I was talking about earlier is, yeah, you have, you can fly missions for both the American Navy and American Army and Japanese Navy and Japanese Army, and there are tons of missions for each, like lots and lots of missions. Like, look at all these missions, dear Lord. There's a ton of them. So there are a million missions, and then you can have a pilot career in any of them, as well. But you can't make your own. You have to select an existing pilot, which is interesting. Um, but you can select the squadron they're with. So if you want, you know, F4s or or, or, or Dauntlesses or whatever, or, or, you know, you can select whatever you want, you know. So you also have a pilot career, but then, the piece de la resistance um, of this whole game, and what makes this game special, in my opinion, is the carrier battle. So, you can do a carrier battle as the Americans, you can do a carrier battle as the Japanese, for all these different, all these different maps. Which Aces Over the Pacific does not have. 
so yeah, I feel content wise, I feel so far. I feel like content wise, this and Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe are kind of unmatched. You know, if you're talking World War II games, like this is insane. This is an insane amount of content. All right, let's try. Uh, let's try torpedoing a ship now. So, oh wait, we wanted to see if there's a if there's a Yamamoto if there's a mission to take out Yamamoto. So let's see. Uh, would that be the naming of the army? I don't remember. Okay. It's not fighter sweep. I love how they have part one and part two. Day one, part one, day one, part two. Hypothetic? Okay, let's see. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Shaw. I forgot about that. So, American Army. The fighter sweep. Okay, so it's probably not... It might be... It's either going to be a fighter sweep or a combat air patrol. Mustangs wander into a trap, huh? Mustang. Outnumbered 38s fight for their lives. Wow, it doesn't look like they have the Yamamoto mission. Not surprising. Let's double check. Oh! Yeah, you're probably right. This probably is it. You're probably right. You're probably you're pro this probably is it. I guess they do have it. That's gorgeous. I love the lightning. This and the P-47 are my favorite uh, planes of World War II. All right. Oh, we can change. Oh. Oh, how do we change the time rate? I gotta change the map time rate. Yeah, no, they are great. The lightning was such a wonderful plane. Hang on a second. There's a great book. Um, hang on. There's a great book about the P-38. Can't remember the author's name, though. Um,
Uh, hang on. I cannot remember the name of the author. Ah, there it is. Yes, Caden. Um, so it's a great it's a great book about the uh, P thirty eight called by uh, fork. It's called Fork Tear Devil. It's by Martin Caden, C A I D E N. The great thing about Caden, and I've read a lot of his books. He's done a lot of books like this, where um, yeah, C A I D E N where he not only talks about the development of the plane itself, but also the people who flew it and makes it a very personal journey for the plane. Um, makes it a very personal journey for the plane itself. So they're really engaging reads and, and they go, and they go back and forth between like, like creating and improving the plane and everything. And the pilots who flew them really great book. It's called fork tailed devil. Um, there, it is, there isn't a Kindle version apparently, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, it's not very expensive and it's a really great read. Like this guy has written a lot of books, uh, like this. Yeah. He also, he also wrote a book on, um, he also wrote a book on the P 47, which I love. Uh, he wrote a book about the Japanese zero called zero. He wrote, uh, that book I was talking about, about that Japanese ace, Saburu Sakai, he wrote that. It's called Samurai. Uh, he wrote a book about the B-17 uh, and the ME-109. So he wrote a book about a lot of the big planes of uh, World War II. Uh, and they're really great books. I've read, I've read all of them. He's probably my favorite author when he writes about airplanes for World War II because... He does a great job of mixing mixing the technical and the personal. That's why I like them so much. So yeah, Forktail Devil is the one about the um, the P thirty eight, and then uh, Thunderbolt is the one about the P forty seven, and they're both great. And they're both great. Um, yeah. So if, if you're interested in these planes, those are both great reads. Uh. Sadly, the Forktail Devil does not seem to be on Kindle, but Thunderbolt is on Kindle, so that's good. I don't know why Forktail Devil isn't. That's weird. Great book, though. Really great book. Those are all great books. Um, highly recommend it if you want to read about this stuff. Uh, really just fantastic books. Okay. Hang on. Ugh. Oh, I'll... Uh, apparently they're here. My wife has the amazingly detailed taco earrings. They look like actual little tacos. They make me hungry for tacos. That's how good they look. Where's the bad guy? I don't see him. Oh, hang on. Let's... There they are. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops! Use the 3D. Let's see. Uh, alt. Yep. Look at that. There's the engine. Check that out. Yeah, you can see the boom tail back there. That's very cool. Battle Stations games, uh, Shaw, were a lot of fun. I will, I will definitely. 
Yeah, I don't care about realism as much as fun. You know? I, I, I much prefer fun over realism. And, um... Oh, hello, autopilot. I didn't realize we were that close. Uh... What are you doing, autopilot? There's another plane right up there. Um... Yeah, the, uh, the Battle Stations games, which I think you can get on Steam. Uh, Battle Stations... Whoa! Hello. Um... Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing about, uh, those games is that you need to... Yeah, the only thing about those games is um, you need to fiddle with them to get them working on modern Windows. They do work. They do work. Yeah, hang on. I'll, I'll post it in the thing. Uh, they do work. I just gotta let the autopilot do it for a second. They do work. Let me post the link. Uh, no. Yeah, this guy. And there's also, uh, there's also Battle Stations Pacific, uh, Pacific, uh, Battle Stations Pacific, I think. Yeah, Battle Stations Pacific. Oh! Apparently, you can't buy Battle Stations Pacific anymore. They've temporarily removed that one from Steam. Which is weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Oh. Get him, autopilot. Get him. Uh, for some reason. Yeah, for some reason. Um, yeah, you could command boats and stuff. They're really fun games. Like I said, they uh, take a bit of tweaking. Uh, unless you have an Xbox 360, and you can get them for the Xbox 360 as well, uh, if you want. Um, oh yeah, they did, didn't they? They did. I think I actually have Ruse on Steam, but I think they did remove it, yeah. It's a shame when Steam removes games. I get why they do it, but it still sucks. You know? I totally get why they do it, but it's still, it's still garbage. Um, like, you can't buy... Blur anymore, which is a fantastic racing game. You can't get that anymore on Steam. Or, um... What's another one? Star Wars Galaxies you can't get anymore on Steam. Like, they remove stuff from Steam all the time. Mostly due to music licensing. Mostly. Like, a lot of the, a lot of the older EA games, racing games, you can't get on Steam anymore because of the music licensing ran out. I just don't know why they just... Like, don't pay for those licenses for many, many years. I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, apparently that's one of the, re like, I'm, I, I, lately I've been in love with the MotorStorm games on the PS3. And, um, did we do it? I guess not. Uh, and... And I don't know if those will ever get any kind of remaster. I don't know if there's any kind of remaster or anything that's ever going to come because of the music. Yeah, that is, that is a uh, that is a um, that is a a um, that is a benefit. Uh, is when uh, you already own it. Autopilot, what are you doing? That is a benefit when you already own it. Um, oh, you got a strafe of base? Uh, okay. That is a good point. When you already own it, you just can keep downloading it, which is nice. They don't have to do that, you realize. Yeah, the autopilot looks like it's doing some kind of strafing.
Autopilot, what you doing? We don't have bombs, Autopilot. We just have drop tanks. What are you doing, Autopilot? Alright, um... David, you have to play Driver San Francisco if you haven't already. Oh my god, that game is astounding. Oh my god. So, so with that game, it's an open world driving game, but you're a guy in a coma. And, and, uh, you have the ability to quantum leap from one driver to another. And the best part of that game is when you quantum leap, when you quantum leap into a car with a passenger, and you start talking to the passenger. Ah, oh, the writing, the writing. Oh my God. So, since I'm on autopilot, I'll tell you a story about that game. I've rarely laughed so hard in any game as I did, as I did in this in this particular mission. So you jump into a, you jump into a like a truck, like a box truck, and suddenly. You're doing a mission, and the mission is insurance fraud. And so, the wife of the driver you're inhabiting tells you to start crashing into things. So you know, uh, you know, you can claim, oh no, insurance, and then get a lot of money. Apparently, um, but I crashed into a cop car, which turned into a whole cop chase. And a box truck cannot outrun a cop car, so I got taken down. And the wife says, this wasn't part of the plan. And your character, before leaping out and facing no consequences, says, plan? <laughs> I laughed for a good five minutes. Just... That game has such funny writing. I played it for hours until I hit one mission that made me rage quit. And I have not gone back, I have not been able to pass that mission since. But for many, many hours, that game is astounding. And I'm, I feel bad I never finished it. But, um. But, um. But yeah, if you own. Huh. But yeah, if you own Driver San Francisco and have not played it, fix that. It's got a great soundtrack, which is probably one of the reasons you can't buy it anymore. It's got a great soundtrack, a great story, and oh my god, the gameplay. There's 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 a mission very early on where you take inhabit a driving student, and the driving instructor is a dick. So the whole goal of the mission is to get the driving instructor's heart rate above a certain level by doing stunts and driving fast and having near misses. And it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And it's great. While you have your main story in Driver San Francisco, uh, you also you, you run into these little side missions like these two, these two kids that are... Uh, these two kids that are trying to win races in order to pay for college. And uh, you take over the driver and help them rise up in the ranks of these street racers so they can pay for college. And so that's a multi-mission chain in that game. It's so great. It's so great. I love Driver San Francisco so much. I feel really fortunate that I own, uh, that I own an Ubisoft copy. I played it originally on PS3, but I was also able to buy a, uh, a Uplay copy back in the day, so I'm really, I really feel really fortunate I own it on PC as well. Um, but yeah, that game is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, 
Oh god. The stunt I've only played one of the stuntman games. So balls hard. I think I've only passed one mission. <laughs> but oh my god. That is such a hard game. I know exactly what you're talking about. I think it might be the first stuntman. Or maybe the, I don't remember which stuntman I own. I own one of them. But uh yeah. Oh my god. So great. Alright, so we're gonna land with the auto okay, the autopilot's on. I uh, yeah. Failure? Who failed? I thought we killed the guy. I thought we killed the guy. Oh well. Alright, we've been playing as the Americans. Let's try let's Let's do at least one mission as the Japanese. We got time for at least one or two more. Um, so we'll do a single mission. Let's do the Japanese Navy. Uh, let's torpedo a ship this time. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, ever since falling in love with MotorStorm recently, I've been, like, seeking out chaotic driving games. And someone mentioned the uh, Smuggler's Run games, which are made by Rockstar, believe it or not. So I got both of those because they're so cheap. A lot of these games, blessedly, are so cheap. Uh, and I've been playing the first Smuggler's Run game, and that is fun. That is a really great time. That is really fun. The last mission I played, I didn't know it was going to be Capture the Flag with a rival gang. But I didn't know it was Capture the Flag until I was in it. I was like, oh my god, this is Capture the Flag. Um, but yeah, the Smuggler's Run, that, that first Smuggler's Run game is fantastic. All right. So let's see. What are we going to... Uh, let's at least try some training. Proceed and locate attack enemy ships. I don't know how I'm going to do that because I can't hook the PS3 up to this. A 187 ride or die. What the hell is that? I've never heard of that. 187 ride or die. I've never heard of Oh my god. That's a PlayStation 2 game. That works, because I have a PlayStation 2. I will add that to my eBay, my ongoing eBay list of things I'm trying to find. Uh, 187, ride, or die. Oh, it also came out for the original Xbox as well. That's cool. I'd probably get the PS2 version. It's not every Xbox game, not every Xbox game Runs on a uh, 360, sadly. So I probably... Wow, it's not expensive. But I've, I've recently bought... I'll save that one for later. I've recently bought a little too much already. So... Um, gotta slow down on... Gotta slow down on the buy-in. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do a training mission. A training torpedo run. With a Japanese... Um, Thing. Japanese Kate. Oh yeah, one of these big boys. One of these, one of these thick, one of these thick guys right here. I remember these things. Um, got one torpedo. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not running these on emulation. Uh, I actually have a, uh, I have a PS3 that's the original fat model, so you can play PS2 games on it, and that's what I've been playing stuff on. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like, if I can play stuff on original hardware, I will, you know? I mean, I love emulation, don't get me wrong, but I, if I can play, if I can play stuff on original hardware, I will play stuff on original hardware. I say as I'm playing a DOS box game. I know, but I don't have the space or the money to build a legacy gaming PC, so... I wish I did. I wish I could build like a Pentium 2 
Uh, Pentium 3, 1998, circa Windows Special Edition. Uh, oh, wait, are we not going on? Well, all you had to do is mention Burnout, and I'm interested. I love the Burnout games, especially uh, Takedown and Revenge. Oh, just... I love all the Burnout games, but those two especially. Oh, my God. All right, so... Yep. Um, the burnouts yes i played all the burnouts well okay there was that burnt that was that top down burnout game from a few years ago i didn't really play that one very much but takedown and revenge um are two of my favorite racing games of all time enemy ship spotted okay So there's no virtual cockpit in this one. You get the gunner view. Wow, that's slow. That's real slow. Okay, where are the uh, where are the ships? Are they behind me? Is that where they are? Or, or that is that them in front of me? Oh, that looks like a ship. Okay, I guess those are my ships back there. That's very cool. Um, I do love Wreckfest, but I've got to be honest. Uh, once you play, I played Test Drive Eve of Destruction long before Wreckfest, and to me, Wreckfest is just an iteration of Test Drive Eve of Destruction. Which is not a bad thing. Breakfast is great, but um, and I love Breakfast. Don't get me wrong, but there's something to me about the chaos of the Motor Storm games that Breakfast can't has that just can't capture. It might be the the big levels. It might be how the levels have different paths and they're off road. Maybe I don't know. Where's the bo where's the boat I'm supposed to? I don't see a boat. Where's the boat I'm supposed to? Oh, there it is. I guess. I guess that's the boat I'm supposed to hit. Um, so I love Wreckfest. I love Wreckfest. But uh, for me, very. I don't think anything has matched the chaos of MotorStorm or MotorStorm Pacific Rift. Just... And it's such a shame those are locked in on the PC on the PS3. Because they're amazing. They are utterly amazing. Oh, I know. The o the, o the only the thing about test drive, which sucked, the only the only the thing the only negative thing I could say about test drive is when you when you played in multiplayer, uh, all the AR all the AI cars went away. So, like, if you had two people in multiplayer, all the AI cars went away, so it wasn't as much fun. If I'm remembering this correctly... Uh, oh, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're gonna drop that torp? Oh, you're gonna do it. Okay, that's fine, you do it. Um... Or maybe it was more than two people. Yeah, that was probably it. I think with one or two people, you'd still get the AI cars, I think. And the AI in that game is very aggressive. Um, 
but when you added more than two people, I think, it took all the AI cars away. It's like, what? Why? Um, oh, really? I didn't play, I never played Carmageddon multiplayer. So I, I wouldn't know. So I guess that's the boat I'm going to attack. I guess. Um, why isn't the autopilot flying toward it? Okay. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, Test Drive Eve Destruction is uh, such a great game. And because of that, it's not fair, but I see Wreckfest as kind of second best to it. And I don't know if that's fair, but... And don't get me wrong, I love Wreckfest. Folks, if you haven't played Wreckfest and you like chaotic racing games, it's really amazing. It's a really amazing uh, racing demolition game thing. Um, with a ton of content in both single and multiplayer. There's a ton of content. Um, so I'm guessing that's the boat that I'm supposed to, uh, that I'm supposed to torpedo. I'm gonna try and do it myself. Is there any kind of bombardier thing on this thing? Oh, there is, look at that. Doesn't really work though. Torpedoes. That's fair. It's got excellent physics. You're right about that. And damage modeling. Let's see what the autopilot's gonna do. Is that my torpedo right there? Wait, did I fail? Oh, I don't know if I failed. Oops. I've not played Need for Speed Heat. I do own it, but I haven't played it. I keep meaning to. I love, um... I love the most recent Need for Speed Most Wanted. I think that's a much better open-world racing game than Burnout Paradise, in my opinion. I didn't like Burnout Paradise very much. And I love the Burnout games, but... Burnout Paradise really left me cold. But Need for Speed Most Wanted... Oh, I love that one. But I haven't... I have not played Heat. And I should. I should. I think I have it on Steam, I think. I think. Steam or Origin, I'm pretty sure I have it on one of them. All right, so that was a turp. Let's bomb a base now. Let's. Oh. Let's bomb a base. Um. Wow, this Henderson base is really taking a lot of. Uh, really taking a lot of heat. Ah, Port Moresby. I know that one. But yeah, for a while, my favorite racing game, um, oh, okay, I'll have to install Heat and give that a try. 
I did not know that. I did not know that. Um, for a lo- for a while, uh, Bloody Rally Show has been my favorite racing game, but I really think MotorStorm Pacific Rift has supplanted it because it's just astounding, you guys. When you're in a race with buggies and bikes and trucks and semis and monster trucks all at the same time digging through the dirt taking different paths based on which one's better for that particular vehicle just just astounding just uh. oh Guadalcanal that makes sense that Guadalcanal was a was a big freaking deal, if I recall correctly. Okay, let's do let's do this. One. Gonna bomb a base. Legs getting tired from being from crossing it. So let's let's bomb a base. Priority targets are enemy planes. Like enemy planes on the ground. Base attack package one, huh? Yeah, I will have to install... Uh, I will have to install... Is that a reminder for 9 a.m. to install Need for Speed Heat? I didn't know you I didn't know you could change Google the voice of Google Assistant lately but I re- I until recently and so I've changed it to this Australian lady and it's great <laughs> All right um I'm pretty sure I own Need for Speed Heat. Oh, I do. That's fantastic. It goes on sale pretty regularly. Oh. $70? Oh. I think I got it on sale for like 10 or 15. Yeah. Wow, this is wow. This is a long one, you guys. Yeah, I have to try that. I do. I do own it on Steam. It's got good reviews on Steam as well. Oh my leg! Oh. Bam bam. Bam 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 bam. God, I, this music is really coming back to me. Alright. Alrighty. Auto power 
goes off. Yeah, I'm going to have to try Need for Speed Heat. That sounds fun. Since I love Most Wanted, it sounds like it's a very similar vein. Is it Criterion? The same people who... Hang on. No. I don't know who Ian Gothenburg is. It's not Criterion, though. What have they done? They made Battlefield 2042 as well, which a lot of people love. Oh yeah, that's interesting. So it looks like EA Gothenburg is kind of uh, kind of formed from the ashes of a Criterion Games. Well, that would explain a lot. I like how apparently the game knows where my target is, so it knows that I'm just gonna... Oh god, wait, what is it? Oh, okay. I think I missed. Oh my god, I did miss. Okay, well. Let's see if the autopilot can do a better job. Oh, no, 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 I see. Huh, I didn't know that. Alright, so is the autopilot going to try and bomb the base now? Apparently not. Alright, alright, here we go then. I'm gonna try and bomb it again. I can do this.
Yeah, that's what it looked like it was doing. Which is not unfair, Donovan. Which is not really unfair. It's so given the time period, it's a very smart autopilot, but it's not like infallible. Which is fine. It looks like the plane is pooping. Hey, let me drop my poops on you. Let me drop my poops on you. Poops. Did I miss again? I think I missed again. Oh my god, I think I did. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'm gonna get you, fuckers. I'm gonna get y'all. Yep, 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 yep. I got a million bombs. Here, have some. Tell me I hit something that time. What? I didn't hit it. Okay, maybe I hit something. What do you... Oh, my God. I don't think I hit anything. You know what? 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 Here's... We'll just... We'll just do a little... We'll just do another poop run. Here we go. We'll just do another poop run. Here we go. Here we go. Just do another poop run. And another poop run. more poop for you. There's some more poop. Lots of poop. Enjoy the poop. I get anything? I don't know if I got anything. Oh my god. All right, hang on. I think it really wants me to bomb those planes that are on the ground, so... Wait, why can't I... What's going on? What are you, what are you doing, Gabe? What are you doing, uh, plane? Why are you listening to me? Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, there's no flak. Like, at all. That's crazy. I think it really... I think if I recall correctly, it really wants me to bomb the, uh, the airplanes. The airplanes that are sitting on the ground, like, right... I think where I'm aiming. Um, what just happened? Okay. Mission completed. Return to base. All right. How do you... Oh, look at that. So there's a crew... There's a... There's a button. There's a button called Quick Cruise, you guys. Um... That's funny. There's a button called Quick Cruise when you're in the pilot map like we just were that puts you right where you need to be. How great is that? All right. My dude, are you going to land? There we go. I guess he's waiting for the others to land. Others. Others. I love it. Mission results are excellent, even though this guy crashed.
Mission results were excellent. Yeah, zero points. I don't care. Okay. So tomorrow, because uh, we're going to wrap it up, tomorrow we're going to do a career. I think what I'm th what I'm thinking is we'll do our first, like maybe the first hour we'll do the American Army, and then maybe the second hour we'll do the Japanese Navy. You know, so we'll we'll have a little taste of each. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Mm. My friends. Um, uh. I hope you all have a lovely day, everyone. Uh, be safe. Be well. Take care of each other. Get vaccinated if you haven't already. Though I'm pretty sure all of you are. If you're, if you're in my channel and you're not vaccinated, what the hell are you doing? Go get vaccinated. Like, today. Uh, but thank you for joining me for this trip down memory lane. God, I love this game so much, you guys. I love this game so much. And uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow for more of this and the podcast. Remember on the podcast, we are welcoming back the developer of Interstellar Space Genesis tomorrow. Um, uh, they have a new expansion, which is really great. So uh, I'm looking forward to talking to them about their great game. So we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a great one.